Hey folks, it's Brad LeDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And it's been nearly three months and this is the very first 2022 that we've gotten in in the last three months. It's crazy. And uh, I will apologize in advance, I'm a Canadian. It's uh, minus like 18 out, it's a little cold. And uh, I got a hockey puck in the face on Sunday night. Today is Thursday, so I got a couple stitches and uh, my Fs don't sound right. So I apologize in advance. But first off, this is the all new 2022, or I should say there's some updates to this. Last year was the first year of this new body style, Yukon, and we've got the new AT4 2022 here. And there are some changes, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of it here. Let's start by popping the hood. You're gonna walk to the front here. You're just gonna put your hand right there and slide to the right and open straight up. So the standard engine on the AT4 is the 5.3 liter naturally aspirated V8. It's direct injected with variable valve timing and it is a Ecotec 3 engine. 355 horsepower, 383 foot pounds of torque. And you can hear, it's nice, it's quiet. You can see in there, we got our air box, rad, rad fluid overflow, Dexos oil, windshield washer fluid. You can see our got our battery over here, little fuse panel on top. You see our oil dipstick down there. And another big meat and potatoes is that this is paired with a Gen 2 10-speed automatic transmission. Many of you probably know that the 10 speeds that us and Ford use are engineered and designed uh, by GM. It was a joint development. And so now GM is in the Gen 2 of those 10 speed automatic transmissions. Uh, the second engine, so the only other uh, secondary choice for engines you can get in this class is a 6.2 liter big boy V8. And that one is 420 horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque. And uh, those are your two engine choices. You can see here we've got some nice soft padding up top. Again, just some nice refinement. We're going to close this down. And this color really shows nice here. This is the all new Redwood Metallic. Okay. Now, when we talk about the AT4, you notice the front end's a little different. It's got a better uh, approach angle here in the front end. And that's actually why the intercooler would be down here if this was a three liter diesel. And that's exactly why you can't get the three liter diesel in this vehicle. But if you look in the front end, you've got this nice black ice chrome, looks really nice. The C-shaped LEDs, all the LED daytime running lights, fog lights, you can see down below, really nice stuff. You can see we've got a 20 inch exclusive alloy wheel here that's got the black paint and you can see the chrome finishes on top really nice and it's a nice wrangler all-terrain tire as well it's actually a trail runner at tire is the actual model you notice as well the built-in board okay really nice easy step in you can get on some of the yukons the power running boards as well you can see that at4 logo the gmc logo you can also see the GMC logo here in the accenting of the headlights. Some nice little touches. And moving on over, just gonna back up, get another, whoop, the camera's not focusing. Got a brand new iPhone 13 here we're trying today for the first time, and it doesn't focus as fast. Look at that. Great look in the back end as well. You can see that exhaust system. Now, personally, I've said this before, you see this uh, cover here for the uh, hitch and stuff. I really wish that that was exposed in the AT4, maybe a little bit of a red, uh, you know, tow hook or paint in the back that just give it that little extra off-road look. Uh, so that's something I think GM could improve, but uh, still great looking unit. Uh, I'm going to go fast here and uh, my hands are already starting to shake, so I apologize. Now we can do this a couple different ways. Obviously, we've got our modern key system here so i can double tap i can approach and kick but i just wanted to show you guys how much volume and room there is in this vehicle as well um, again you can get this with the power folding seats like this one here come on focus baby so i'm just going to raise up 
both of these seats. So you can see with the seat raised, we actually have more volume than we did in the previous generation. So again, no change in the interior here uh, for storage in the back, a little bit of storage in under here. And you can see, okay, pretty straightforward stuff. Want to close this up. There is a little button right here, and that is to just pop this glass. That's actually where your wiper blade is uh, as well to keep it out of the elements. But if you notice, now you can easily quickly grab your hockey bag or whatnot out of this backpack piece of luggage. Pretty straightforward. Of course, modern vehicle, capless fuel door. Proximity sensors on all four doors. So again, touch once unlocks just that door. Touch four times or touch twice unlocks all five doors. I say five because it is a hatchback. Now take a look in this. You've got a beautiful, beautiful interior in this thing. So if we look here, we've got this really nice, come on camera, work with me now. Beautiful chrome with this carbon fiber gloss finish. It looks really, really nice. You've got the chrome accents and the door handle. You can see the stitching. And again, you can see it's a nice soft touch material. And again, a nice soft touch on this perforated leather here. You can see this is the exclusive AT4 interior with these nice brown accenting inside and the stitching and the piping looks really really nice now we got a couple handles here I'm a big guy six foot 280 pounds so if you want to get into the back of this thing okay you can pull up on this once and twice and you can see this folds down flat okay and then we've also got this little tether here. And if we pull on this tether, it also does the same thing. Now, everything in these vehicles is designed for what we call the curbside, okay? So for safety, all the latest generation Chevy and GMC vehicles, on this passenger side, also known as the curbside, it has a little bit different functionality. So again, let's say we wanna get in the back on this side, when we pull that same handle, you can see how it flips up. So again, real quick, push it down, pull it up. I'm doing this all one-handed too. So again, we walk up to this, we pull on this handle once, articulates down, pull on it a second time, articulates up. So again, you wanna get in the back, You can see now, even though I'm six foot, you can see I've still got a little bit of knee room in this vehicle here as well. And these front seats do, pardon me, getting in and out. These center seats have this handle here on both sides. And if you notice, that lets you slide this seat quite a bit forwards or backwards. So again, now this is the eight passenger configuration. You see, so again, this is a heated rear seat, if you notice right over here. Automatic climate control, heated seats, USB-Cs, power plug-in down low. Really, really nice. And let's move over to the driver's side. So again, all these same nice touch materials. You've got the Bose premium audio system in this as well. You can see we've got our 10-way power adjustable seat with power lumbar support. AT4 stitching and embossment in the headliner or headrest. And lots and lots of technology in this. So you've got your lane keep assist with lane departure warning where this, when this is on, this steering will actually keep you in your lane. That's this, the front and rear park assist sensors on or off. That's the power plug-in. That's the 360 camera. We've got the hill descent control, stability control. And then of course, one of the awesomest features available is the AutoTrack Auto 4x4. So again, it transfers power around automatically. And then you also have just two wheel drive, four high, four low, automatic headlights, your fog light button there as well. And then you've got this mode button. So let's get on in you need to notice the door is still here again looks really really nice 
It is a power adjustable steering column as well, you can see here. And I didn't mention it, but it's also power memory seats with easy exit option as well. That's where the seat goes all the way back. So we've got a new 15 inch fully configurable multicolor cluster or driver information center is another word for it. But real quickly, we talked about that mode down there. So when I move that mode button, you notice it'll tell a drive mode. So trailer, normal, tow haul, off-road, and sport. And what's interesting about that, depending on where, what you change that to, it actually changes the throttle response, the shift points of your transmission, and the dampening on the steering to give you more or less assist. So again, more or less road feel. So really, really neat. And I know this is gonna be really hard. I'm just gonna zoom back a little bit, but we got the heated steering wheel. We got our automatic crash, front pedestrian braking, all that crazy stuff. And again, you've got two buttons to control your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to talk, send a message, receive a call, that sort of stuff, or just uh, cancel or, um, or hang up a call. And then you've got this little jog dial here. Okay, switching hands. So I'm just gonna go over here and say, let's go to display layout. Okay, so this is kind of neat. I'm gonna try to do this again, doing everything one-handed. Okay, so classic. A progressive layout. All digital. Okay. And let's let's go to a clean look. And I'm just gonna go right out of this. So there you go. You got a couple different options on how that looks. I'm gonna go back to classic. And even with that, you can change the left side info, the right side info, these lower gauges. So really configurable how you would like it. And you can have the digital speed right there, Sirius XM radio, your navigation, all that. And of course, hopefully you can see it here, we've got the heads up display here as well. And you can also change, can we see that? Can we zoom in? You can also change the information you see here on the heads up display as well. So, and this is the other big change in this generation is this updated screen. So it's now a Google uh, device. So GM partnered with Google. They've got a really cool system set up. So again, very similar. <laughs> it's even recognizing of course Google's listening I didn't understand. it's thinking I'm saying hey Google so pretty straightforward here just like the old generation you got a home button down here you've got a home button right here so what do you want to see if you hit your home button it's gonna to go to that split screen what's on the the radio station and also to your maps now you can sign into different Google accounts here as well so that it will have all your favorite waypoints and everything all saved for you all the time um, but again, straightforward, you hit your home button here, you just click on maps, you don't have to be signed in. Beautiful, beautiful maps. You can see how responsive this is. And again, it's a little bit cold outside, minus 10, I guess. Uh, so again, even with that little bit of coldness, you can see uh, the display is very responsive. We can touch here for trailering, okay? We can touch here as well. We can pair our phones. We can click the obviously music icon for our audio and we can change our sources here say we want to go to AM pretty straightforward stuff again home button here okay and then also we've got our cameras here so you can see we've got the surround vision camera and that's the front facing that's the rear facing camera uh, we can do the split view side you can see here when I turn the steering wheel so again if you're trying to park close to a building or a curb really neat stuff Again, you can hit the X here, or we can just hit the home button down here, and it'll take us right back to the main screen. And of course, it's Android Auto or Apple CarPlay capable. Slide across here, you've got everything else, your climate control, Google News, your My GMC app, you've got podcast, all this sort of stuff here. And again, you can see your outside temperature, 
your time. It's got 4G LTE Wi-Fi built in, which is that little icon there as well. GM has had that in almost every single vehicle that GM's made since 2014. Okay, pretty, pretty awesome stuff as well. Um, and then obviously moving on down, it's just a digital automatic, digital climate control instead of using your old school buttons down here, which I still love. I love, again, the red and the blue here. Again, automatic sync. We've got the heated seats back and bum with three levels of heat. Just your uh, back or just the cooled. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. USB, USB-C. You can see this is also a charging mat as well. And then obviously you can see here we've got the push button start and we've got the electronic precision shift uh, control shifter. So again, foot on the brake, now you're in drive, P to park, you want to drive it in a manual mode, you can. Uh, some people say, well, what if, you know, I pull up and I'll just demonstrate. So here we are, we're driving ahead, okay? And let's say we are older or we're in a hurry and we forget to hit P. We just turn off this truck. It puts itself into park automatically and also it puts on the emergency brake as well. So again, you don't have to be worried about possibly forgetting to push the park button and the vehicle rolling on you. That will not happen, okay? And then you can see really nice center console area. Again, the nice soft touch dual materials here. And again, nice little area for your phone just to rest if it's not on the wireless charger down here or change whatnot. And then inside you can see quite a bit more storage as well. Okay, you got this little cubby hole storage up here as well. And moving up top, you've got your Homelink garage door opener with three different programs. You've got your power lift gate you can control here. Your flow folding seats here you can control manually. Okay, and then you've also got the sun shade and your sun roof to slide and open. So again, if you don't want all this wonderful sun that we have right now, we can hold this button and you can see the sunshade closes. Really, really nice. And then when it comes to towing and trailering and all, all that sort of stuff, everybody wants to know. So GM makes it easy right here in the door jam. It gives you all your trailering information on every uh, full-size pickup truck, half-ton HD truck, and also the full-size utilities. GM has this sticker in the door jam so you know what it's capable of, okay? But there you go. No preparation. Three months later, first time review in a long time. Hopefully my P's and F's didn't sound too weird with my uh, busted lip here. But it's Canada, guys. We play hockey. We're rough. And uh, that's why we're tough. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Go on down to your local GMC store and check one out. And for all you Ford or Yoda buyers, you got to drive this, you know? I'm not telling you this is the absolute pinnacle, best vehicle that's ever been made. All these videos are all about information for you guys so you can make a good informed decision. And I really know that you're selling yourself short if you don't drive this vehicle, if you're buying a vehicle in this class. So there you go, folks. I really appreciate your time. Have a great day. And I guess it's December, what, 12th? So Merry Christmas. Cheers.